All right, guys, uh, this is Jason with FPV Model. Today, what we're going to show you is we're going to show you the new uh, 3-axis gimbal by DYS. Uh, this one is called Marcia. Now, the name on it's a little bit awkward. Could have went with something like Nighthawk or Morphix or something like that, but uh, I guess we got Marcia. Uh, cool thing about this gimbal, runs on, uh, it can use the GoPro 3, can also use the GoPro uh, 4. If you have the GoPro 4 with the uh, monitor in the back, as you can see here, this uh, back mounting bracket is completely open in the back, so you don't have to worry about a hard shell back scratching up the monitor if you're running with, uh, if you're running one of those kinds of cameras. Now, uh, it's very easy setup, it comes, uh, comes all put together, you just have to take it out of the box and install your, can uh, install your camera, which is very easy to do because you just have these two uh, th thumb screws right here that you loosen up, remove the front bracket, and then install the camera. So let's go ahead and uh, start it up and show you how it works. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and plug in the battery, uh, let it start up and do its thing for a moment, moment uh, get all leveled out. And then once it does that, you can see here, it's got the uh, three axis follow function on it. Uh, there, are no, there are no wires. So you don't have to worry about any uh, exposed wires getting hung up on anything. And it can also uh, turn around in a full 360 degrees on both the pitch and the motor yaw axis. Now, one thing you can see here is that there are two connectors. Uh, this is to hook up to your receiver. Uh, you can control both the uh, yaw axis and the pitch axis of your GoPro gimbal. So let's go ahead and uh, shut this down real quick and then we'll hook a receiver up to it and show you how that works. Okay, now with the uh, receiver hooked up to it, uh, we have it set to switches, but you can use switches, you can use dials, you can use uh, your little sliders on the right or left hand side. But you can see, uh, you can see here that you can control the gimbal and both the yaw axis, as we're showing you here, and you can also control the gimbal and the pitch axis. So you can adjust, uh, you can adjust your uh, adjust your settings on there to control it in the direction that you want the camera to go. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead and move this battery out of the way if I can and show you how simple the setup actually is. Uh, looking here, we just have the receiver plugged into an ESC for the, uh, for the power. And you have two uh, simple servo leads. Uh, one, will, one controls roll, one controls pitch. So you just connect that to the receiver, assign the uh, channel of, or assign the switch or dial knob of your choice, and they plug right into the uh, they plug right into this port up here towards the top of the gimbal. So doesn't get much easier than that. Uh, these things have actually came around uh, quite a bit in the last two years. You used to have to finick with them all the time and kind of tweak with the gimbal. And now they're, uh, now they're getting to where they're just super stable and very easy to operate. All right, so that's it. Thank you for watching.